We are about to celebrate 75 years of a political declutching from the Britishers. Ideally, the year should be a matter of pride, but it is not so for every Indian citizen. Why are we saying that? Well, how can you feel proud about your country if you do not even know the length and breadth of your country? Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host, Tejasvi Malhotra. And if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story in this video today, unfortunately, I'm here to give you full details about the accurate map of India. India, that is Bharat, is not a nation state. It has its own history and culture. Sadly, the geography encompassing Bharat Varsh is currently stuck in a world order in which it is tough to demarcate original boundaries. Even then, people and companies claiming to work for the betterment of India do not even know the full details of the original map of India. India's map is again in news. Once again, it has been misrepresented to more than 7 billion people all around the globe. And once again, a private entity has done it. Adding insult to injury, you will be ashamed to know that a university that has the privileged responsibility of passing on the knowledge has done it. Recently, lovely professional university released a video intended to bring foreign students under its fold. It showed an African guy stating how good LPU is for foreign nations. One of the graphics intended to beautify the video was India's map. But that ended up killing the spirit of the video as well as antagonize the nation-loving Indians. In the map which LPU showcased to be representative of Indian landmass, it had totally cut off Kashmir and northeast from the region. Sadly, whole world saw it. And the message sent out was that India has accepted respective claims of Pakistan and China on Kashmir and Northeast, respectively. This is not the first time any university or any institution has done this kind of distortion. Recently, a student named Rishi Tiwari was suspended from Azim Premji University on various charges. Apparently, one of the reasons he had become a bone of contention for the authorities of his university was that he used to oppose cutting out Aksai Chin and POK from India's map. Similarly, alumni section of the Chandigarh University also published a map showing POK as a part of Pakistan. After netizens registered their opposition, the university was forced to remove whole alumni section from the website, but the damage has been done. If you think universities are the only one doing it, then you are wrong. Even companies like Twitter and supranational organizations like WHO have also done it in the past. The phenomena was fueled by none other than Mr. Rahul Gandhi. In one tweet, he had sent a message to China that India had accepted its suzerainty on its territory. Now, we do not know whether these acts are done with malefied intentions to grab eyeballs or they are done in connivance with anti-national forces. Another reason behind the depiction of a wrong map of India could be that these institutions and politicians do not actually know India's length and breadth. Here are the details. India's official map is published by Survey of India. It is India's central engineering agency in charge of mapping and surveying. It works under the ambit of Ministry of Science and Technology. Army officers from Indian Army Corps of Engineers and Civil Services work in unison to determine India's actual map. Current Indian map is available on its website. For your convenience, we are showcasing it here. With the upper north part of our map, the area which is Pakistan-occupied Kashmir for the rest of the world is under India's territorial jurisdiction. Then head towards the Aksai Chin portion, which China loves to call as its own territory. This portion is also an integral part of India. We hope you do not have any doubt over Arunachal Pradesh and other northeastern states being a part of India. 
Similarly, Nepal's claim on Lipu Lake and Kalapani is also bogus as India administers all those territories. For the last time, look closely at this map and memorize every portion in your head. Aksai Chin, POK, Lepu Lake, Kalapani, Arunachal and other northeastern states are all parts of India. There is no doubt over it. To sum it all, current Indian geography accepted by rest of the world is our body. Akhand Bharat is our mind and riding on the principle of Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam and Veer Bhogya Vasundhara, whole world is our soul.